Welcome back to Vladflix. Today we're traveling to New York. The year 1925 to visit some of the best drinking scenes from the iconic film The Great Gatsby. Hit the like button if you like parties with good cocktails and let's go. At the beginning of the film, Tom Buchanan drinks a gin Ricky cocktail made from gin, lime juice and soda water. This drink was created in the 1880s and named after Colonel Ricky who liked to squeeze lime juice into his whiskey before topping it with soda. Ok, let's recreate this simple classic drink. I will take a chilled glass and fill it up with ice. Add 2 ounces of gin. Next squeeze half ounce of fresh lime juice. Top it up with soda water, stir gently and simple garnish is one lime wedge. Normally I would use one metal straw but today we will recreate it as close as possible to the one we seen in Great Gatsby so let's enjoy it without a straw. In the movie Gatsby was drinking a lot of Moya champagne with his friends and fan fact that Moya Chandon has never paid for any promotion in the film and they got a lot of exposure. Ok, let's just have a perfectly chilled Moya Chandon brewed imperial served in a beautiful champagne glass. Besides champagne at Gatsby's parties, old guests drink dry martinis, each served with one olive. I will make the same martini as in the movie. In the mixing glass, pour 2 ounces of gin, bar spoon of dry vermouth, add plenty of ice and stir it for at least 30 seconds. Using a julep strainer, let's strain everything in the chilled martini glass. Garnish with olive. This special cocktail gives me a lot of confidence and makes me feel like I'm Jay Gatsby at the lavish party, even though I'm just drinking at home alone on my couch. During the big parties at Gatsby's house, we can see that guests besides champagne and martinis properly drinking the absinthe. I made a really popular episode about absinthe and absinthe based cocktails. There will be just too much to cover here, so please click here if you want to watch it. But for now, let's move to a little less exciting cocktail. In the middle of the movie, we see Jay Gatsby next to the massive juice squeezer. Then Daisy fill up a martini glass with orange juice. But since in the next scene we see champagne being poured into the fluid, so I assume that this led to mimosa. My squeezer is not as fancy, but I'm not a millionaire Gatsby, so let's squeeze golden eagle oranges with this kinda awful sound. Take a chilled champagne flute and add half a glass of that orange juice that we just made. Next add perfectly chilled champagne, gently stir and enjoy your great Gatsby mimosa. Gatsby takes Nick to a barber shop in the city, which also has a speakeasy behind the walls. Inside a speakeasy bar we can see a huge party where a rich and corrupted politician is hanging out. The way it looks in the movie, it's a bartender's dream job to work at the Angry Diamond Bar. You can see they have an absolute blast and one of them pour bright blue cocktails from his shaker into martini glasses. I don't know exactly what drink was it, but let's make a Blue Monday cocktail, which is first appeared in 1930s cocktail books. In the shaker add one and a half ounces of vodka, three quarters ounce of blue curacao liqueur, half ounce of orange liqueur, add ice and shake it like you're one of those bartenders who wear a cool white jacket and having the time of their lives. Strain it into a martini glass and garnish with one cocktail cherry just like in the movie. In one of the scenes at the same speakeasy the Angry Diamond Gatsby was seen with an unknown drink on his table. I tried hard to figure out what was it but had no luck. Let me know what kind of drink you think was on the table. Well, I will be making the Angry Diamond special. In the shaker add 2 ounces of bourbon whiskey, half ounce of cherry liqueur, half ounce of sugar syrup, squeeze 1 ounce of fresh lemon juice, add plenty of ice to the shaker and shake all ingredients. Add ice, pour it into the tall glass and top it up with soda water. It comes with a very, very special garnish. So we see the used mint leaves, fresh lemon and cherries. Actually a lot of cherries. Let's place everything on top of the glass. And that's probably the craziest garnish that we made on this channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and if you are new to this channel, please check out Cocktails with Absinthe episode, you will hallucinate, I mean love it. Massive thanks to everyone who continues supporting this channel on Patreon and I wanted to sincerely apologize to YouTube Vladflix Premium members since I just noticed there are a lot of people who supported me there too. Shout out to every one of you and I promise it won't happen again. Never be afraid to make something new and I will see you in the next video.